We gave a technical seminar yesterday. Oh, you did? For the Kimpex guys. So could you go over some of what you said in that technical seminar, like uh, Cole's notes? Okay, Cole's notes basically is the upgrade or the potential upgrade from the nickel plug to an IX to an iridium. To iridium. And what I did, I spoke about the, the virtues of the iridium as compared to the nickel. That was a great, you saw you yes. know, the differences. In addition, what we have on the IX, right, we want to reduce what we call quenching, which is really the energy of the spark is being absorbed by the steel in the ground electrode. So what we've done, if you notice on the IX, we've actually tapered the ground electrode to reduce that quenching effect. So which also prom promotes ignitability and flame propagation. Okay. See, so if you think about the explosion of the air fuel mixture and how it expands, we try to make that very efficient. And the, the, the design of the iridium over the nickel is much improved because of certain design characteristics that we gave the, the iridium. So, why do we want that? We want a better bang. Yes. Uh, more uh, complete fuel uh, combustion. Exactly. More power. So, so the higher ignitability will give you more bang for the buck because of higher ignitability and much more efficient flame propagation. In yes. a nutshell, that's what it is. In a nutshell. And lower emissions to the of course. more complete burn. Makes because sense. More complete, more complete burn, burn, better so, emissions. Yeah, and that. of course, that's what's happening now, right? And our designs are driven by OE requirements and everyone's saying, hey, we've got to reduce emissions. So come up with a better design to promote ignitability and flame propagation. Don't be afraid. Right, right, and right. That's what it's all about. What about what about torquing? Process. Just this general basics. Yeah. Torquing a spark plug. Yeah. Like so, a person gets. I've seen it done. Actually, you would think it's pretty simple. Yes, but it's it is. Every one of our boxes, NGK, has this manual. Right. For instance, see, this is an M14 plug. Yep. So you go hand tight, snug, and then one half to two thirds. That's it. That's awesome. That's all. That, that's and that's already torqued. However, however, from a manufacturer standpoint, we recommend to look up the torque. Yes. You know what I mean? And of course, don't forget the gap. Yes. Every gap, every plug, even if it's free gap in the factory, we recommend you got to check the gap. Good to know. Thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. Okay. That's some good old spark plug knowledge right there. Yep. You know, that is back to basics kind of stuff. That's and, what it is. Yep. Darn instructions right on the box. See, not all of that. No, that's what I thought.